Hey guys, it's Deb Joyce Me from Delight of My Art. Make sure I'm muted over here. Okay, um, I'm just popping on really quick today to show you some things from the Ice Cream Corner Suite out of the new catalog that just started yesterday. So I'm going to point you down to the desk and show you what I've got. Just a moment. Oops. Knocking things. I'm gonna bring this forward just a little bit so it's closer. Okay, so this is the suite that I'm talking about. Is this up enough? I think so. So I went and what I do when I don't know where to start with some new products, I just go ahead and make a, an example that they show in the catalog. So what I did, I actually loved all of these that they had in this on this page right here. So I made all of them. So let me show you what I did. So it's um, nicer to see them in person because things in the catalog look really cute, but when you see it in person, you're like, oh, it is really cute. So um, here is the card at the top here. I think I did uh, just about a exact replica of that. So these were fussy cut out of the white paper. There's two of the labels here and they have these fun little drips there and it uses just a little bit of that ribbon. So I thought those were fun. Again, if you need help getting these nice white, or white, uh, not white washed, washed out images like this, the, um, kind of different gradients and stuff, take a plastic spoon and push it into your ink pad so it pushes the ink down and then you get these nice gradient images. So that one was cute. Here is another one over here. This one over here I recreated. And I think, again, I copied it exactly. It's, it, yeah, it turned out really cute. So um, I've got all of these little sprinkles in here. Oh, I attached those with the liquid glue. And... That was really easy. They're pretty well stuck on there. They're too small for a glue dot. So the liquid glue works just fine and um, that's a cheaper option anyway. And it holds it really firm. Now that I've just pushed that one off, but I was I was really bumping it. Um, and we've got the little tag or the little tail here from the ribbon. I love this happy birthday font. It's a really nice, big, scripty happy birthday. And I love that you can fit this little hope it's sweet in there too. Or you could do happy birthday with sprinkles on top. Or happy birthday, you're so cool. So I love this. That turned out really cute. I love the colors and this, um, the popsicles here on this paper. Here is another one. Let's see where... Which one? This one right here. I did change this one up a little bit. I um, see that they did some sponging here at the top um, and made it a little bit blue. I thought it looked a little dirty, so I didn't do that. And then I thought it looked a little plain, so I added this ribbon over here. And I think I did the embossing a little bit different. I'm not sure how they did this. Probably a little bit of a sponged background and then embossed over the top of it because it looks like it has a gradient on this teal part but um, I didn't do that because that sounded like too much work <laughs> so I did punch these out of the paper super easy and then I just punch, uh, stamped the sprinkles on top and I added extra sprinkles to my top one unlike theirs so I don't know I like mine better what do you think <laughs> I think that's cute let's see I did this shaker card isn't that fun you're so cool. I think it turned out very similar to the one that they have here. Looking closer, it's really hard to tell what I think that I should have done and what they did, um, but they uh, embossed this piece with a subtle embossing folder to give it a little bit more texture. That would have looked a little bit better, but I think it turned out really nice. You're so cool. They have this green piece in the background and I stamped it with the same color, I think that's soft sea foam, with this little um, ice cream cross hatchy bit in the same color, and that goes behind here. And since this sprinkly piece was behind all of that, 
I actually um, cut a rectangle out of that to save the inside of the paper, not because it was just going to be behind all of this anyway. So isn't that fun? We've got that. And then we've got this little box here. So this one was super cute. This is one of our gold pizza boxes. And they have thank you with sprinkles on top. Super cute. I love these little sugar, um, what are these, the sugar cones? This is the cake cone. Cake cone, ice cream, soft serve. And we've got the little sprinkles here again. And uh, it looks like they tied the ribbon all the way around the box. I don't like untying my ribbon in order to get into the box. I like to open it and show and not mess up the bow. So what I did was I put this on dimensionals and just wrapped it around the entire top so I can still open my box and I don't mess up my bow. But that turned out really cute, right? Okay, so let's put that aside. And I did do one extra card. I see that I smooched it, so I might have to put some sprinkles there or something. But this is one that I did by myself. Um, it says, you're so cool. And I've got different layers here with the ice cream and some matching sprinkles. And happy birthday, hope it's sweet. So this is on a purple posy card base. I just thought that was nice. And that's just a quick rundown of the Ice Cream Corner Suite. Hopefully you'll give that a second glance. I love the paper in here. Let me get the paper out real quick. Show you this paper. I've been playing with it already, so a bunch of it is already cut. But I want to show you this. I'll just take out one of each of the big ones. Excuse me while I take all this out so we've got this gorgeous paper is this high enough let me just make it a little bit higher sorry oh. one second adjusting things maybe is it gonna go oops okay <laughs> there we go I can see more of my mess. <laughs> All right, just got to tighten these down. Sorry, just a second. Oh my goodness. This was just a quick video just to show you a little bit of what I've got on hand here. Hi, Becky. Okay, so we've got this ice cream paper. On the back of this one is this nice um, crosshatch for the um, cone. So you can just punch this out with the punch. So the punch looks like this, and um, you just slide in a little corner of the paper on this side, or on this side really, and then you can just make a bunch of cones super easy and fast. Same with these fun pieces like this, all of these little blobs you can punch out with the cone part. I'm sorry, the, the not the cone part, the other part, the ice cream bit. <laughs> and uh, then you can get all these fun different gradients. I love how this just looks like there's sugar just kind of crystallized into the paper here. So that's a really pretty pattern. And then this really nice uh, Blackberry Bliss stripe is on the back. And that just coordinates really nice too if you wanted to make it into a box or a bag or anything. And this one does does too. Let's see, I like when the front and the back coordinate. This one is beautiful. Love all, all the colors in this entire pack of paper. And then the back of this is a really nice stripe. Wonderful for birthdays, or for kids, or for celebration of any type. Um, summertime. I love that stripe. Isn't that nice? has a lot of colors in it. Here's another blob piece. And this is more of the blues and the greens and the teals. And then again, this coordinating dot on the back. I believe this is Old Olive. That's a nice neutral. Another fun blob piece. I love this. I think that's I think it's terracotta tile, but it almost looks like Calypso coral on there. 
um, a lot of yellows and pinks, and then this really nice coordinating uh, swooshes, kind of like water or just celebratory ribbons. I think that's petal pink in there too. And there's another cone one. I really like the colors in this entire pack. Oh, here's the backing paper. So this is the last piece. And then you've got really great sprinkles on the back. So isn't that fun? I just love this whole pack of paper. Really, really, really great for birthdays. So I really like this. I think that's six. Let's just check. One, two three, four, five, six. Yep. So there you have it. There's the, the suite. And it also um, comes with these sprinkles. You know, I, I used a ton of these sprinkles in this shaker card. It looks like I didn't even touch the sprinkles. Look how many are still in here. There are tons in here. They're really tiny. They're fun to just decorate on your card, just like this. Um, but there's plenty to do a couple shaker cards also. If you use them just as decorations, man, th this whole thing would last like 30 years. <laughs> and then it also has this ribbon that coordinates. So this is Blackberry Bliss, and this will go with actually a bunch of the different papers in the catalog right now. So it's got this really nice stripe on it. If you can see that, it's really soft and flexible, really nice for tying bows. So that's it, that's uh, me showing you the ice cream suite here. I'll probably be playing with this a lot more, obviously, cause it's so stinking cute, but that's um, what I've got for you today. Put all these back out here. All right, have a great day, guys.